by the flames. Finish it! Here are the calculations you asked for. You need to also include the cost of lamps for every room. I don't care how much it costs. She's afraid of fire. We will have electricity, and that is that. Let's talk about the symbolic aspects. I would not. Why is that? A symbolism is a word that gets thrown around a lot, usually when people don't really know what to make of you. Uh, the worst question you could possibly ask me is, what did you mean by that? If it was that simple, I wouldn't have painted it. I would have just told you. Of course, we can talk in general about themes that have always inspired me. Duality, conflict. I think that all art revolves around some sort of struggle. Whether or not we're able to see it, of course, is, is an entirely different matter. Striking, vibrant, life, 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 fire! Calculations you asked for. You need to. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg.
I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. It's been a while. It took me six months to be able to hold a pen again. Six long and painful months. But I finally did it. It still hurts, but the pain is just bearable enough for me to jot down a few lines. Oh, the things we take for granted. Wow, that's deep. I think I better rest some more before I put ancient philosophy. Lice, mice, bald, bloody spots, hair, not mine. Where are the scissors? Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work, that's all. Nothing. They're getting smart. said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Aww. You've always wanted to have a huge guard. Green calmed your nerves, you said. I always loved painting blood.
Is this the right door for me? No accidents, no weakness. Just fire from the depths of your soul. Finish it! Since my last letter, things only got worse. Yesterday, a stool broke underneath me. My cup stuck to a kitchen table. We need new servants. These people are so lazy. It's like nobody wants to work anymore. Ass up to die. I'm resigning from work at this house. I think I don't have to explain my reasons. You know how life in this house looks. If I could give you some advice, think about being more understanding and a bit nicer to future servants. I'm done. I'll do it myself. Keeping the house from breaking apart can't be that hard. Understand, I'm working in here! I swear, if I'm interrupted one more time... I thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. He looked so delicious when the flame burned him out.
anything that could make her smile. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Their life started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot. your favorite. Come, sit with me, like in the old times. What is the color? Everything I touch breaks. Good, solid undercoat. Primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. The world is breaking around us.
While I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. day I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read about my work. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she knows me well enough to know what really gets to me. I just can't believe she would use that against me. Worst thing is, when I confronted her about it, she claimed she hadn't written any of them. Like I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus! Does she really hate me that much? Or, or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. Painted, you fucking plant. Me, I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face. Terribly sorry for your inconvenience, but we've seen no fluctuations of power in your area. And see no issues in the neighborhood. And since you didn't allow entry to our electricians, uh, we cannot help you in any way.
Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in a hideous, Put it between the books. He'll never find it there. I can't escape too. Silent floaters. They clog the drains. 
Oh, fur in the water. No baths for me. I'm not like her. I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I would never. I will finish it. If I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think sixteen concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and I have to Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin, or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mention do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. This thing, this family, won't work if you keep undermining me. It will break apart. Found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted <laughs> badly. I I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house. Oh, that's just irresponsible. It's all your fault. doors between us, but it's my drinking that ruins the family? <laughs> this is childish.
The things she could do with the piano. In the right hands, it's the most powerful instrument. It can break any man. I need the fire! The lamps are so... cold. instrument she could play. The only music this family could accept. This light is still light. Constantly flapping, eating other rats. Are you insane with those candles? You will burn. We have electricity. Thousands of years, I can do it too. Locked here.
that fire is... Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it! Alright, let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well. But how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. Oh, God, please. Not this again. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? She named it Mr. Quiet. Mr. Quiet is her favorite toy. He never screams, she told me. He never makes a sound. Protect her!
all changed when the daughter was born. Wow. The reward for the most cliche line goes to me. So, I'm here. For a place belonging to posh ass agency, this is weird. If they wanted to have a decor that corresponds with story, they succeeded. It's dark, there are rats, and it's weird paintings. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I felt like it was some fucked up experiment. Especially since the man called to check if I'm working soon after I entered. <laughs> I heard a strange noise when I was about to start writing. But it turned out that it were only rats. I think. I thought I saw later. I called to let him know I'm here. He always cheers me up. Your truth. What the fuck? <sighs> Hello? Oh, thank God. It's me. Mama? Did something happen? I... don't know. I don't feel good. I don't like this place. What do you mean you don't feel good? Do you need a doctor? No. It, it's dark in here. I'm scared. Mom, it's night. I think you just had a bad dream. Everything will be okay in the morning. I imagine the lighthouse gets lonely, but come on. It's you who wanted to go there. No, you don't understand. It's dark. It's awful and I can't write. Everything is... Hello? Hello? Fuck! Now that's no way to greet your muse. What your surprise. Creation isn't pretty. You pushed a human being into the world, and now you need to do the same with a book. I'm here to help you with that. How? How? She asks. <laughs> the same way I helped the painter, the musician, and the actor. All you have to do is choose. Your voice will be heard. It won't. It never is. Children change every... Reach for own experience. I know what it is to be a parent. What changes with the child? Channel it! Don't ride city buses. This is your chance to end segregation.
We had an agreement, a deadline that you prolonged for the third time now. If you don't finish this screenplay, someone else will. Here, son. It'll help with the pain. Come on! What happened to you when your daughter was born? Tell me! And now, with my help, it's possible. Do you choose to use it? Say it. I do. I choose your help. Then, it is done. Hello? Oh, thank God you're okay. What happened? Uh, what do you mean? I, uh... You were scared, and the call was cut off, and... Oh, that? That's nothing. The generator died. It's fine now. Oh. Okay. I guess that's good. How do you feel? You sounded upset. I'm worried. I'm good. Mm, but... I'm good, son. It's as you said, I'm exactly in the place I wanted to be. Are you? Yes, I'm sure. I need to get back to work. Good night. Love you. Moths drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. tried to pull himself together. <laughs> Sweet Jesus! Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. Sometimes, you must be in the dark to see. <laughs> 